What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my very first unhaul. I recently moved my bookcase over to my boyfriend's house so I had to transfer all of my books over and I realized that there was quite a few books that I wasn't interested, that I didn't like, that I probably was never going to either read or reread. So I figured might as well get rid of them. My plan is to take them down to my local bookstore and either get credit to buy new books or cash. I don't I don't know what the selling price is. Regardless, I'm just trying to get rid of these books. I don't think any of these are popular books that people would come at me for, but you never know. The first two books, actually, I feel so bad. I don't even know if I should say it or not, but Ginny, if you're watching this, I love you to death so, so much. But you got horrible taste in books, okay? Like... It could also be, I think these are adult books. My best friend Jenny got me these for my birthday or Christmas. Might have been Christmas. They were okay, but the, I just had issues. This one just was, I don't even know. This one was really good. I really enjoyed it up until the ending. It just completely missed someone's entire storyline and I was unhappy with it. She reads a lot of adult books and for a second I thought maybe that was the reasoning why I didn't like it because they're adult books and I don't read a lot of adult but I enjoyed the plot I guess like they had potential it's just the execution that went completely wrong. I guess I should name them. This is Strange Girl by Christopher Pike. This is like a supernatural mystery kind of book. It, it was a little confusing. You don't really know 100% entirely what was going on with this strange girl. The ending was just not my cup of tea. <laughs> and then I have Rubbernecker by Belinda Bauer, which again, I really enjoyed. This is a murder mystery, I believe. And this one was really good. It is told through three different people's point of views and different timelines. They all kind of surround this murder but they're told in like different timelines and it was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to like the way it was told with the different timelines and points of view, but I did. The only thing is that we focus on these different points of views and then one of them just doesn't get resolved. And that, that really rubbed me the wrong way because I want to know what happened with this character. Out of, I think, all three of the points of views, this character's point of view was the one I was most invested in. Like I was actually into her storyline and what was going on on her side and then it just wasn't resolved. They got to go. I have a middle grade series which has been through so so much. It is the secret series by Pseudonymous Bosch and the first book of the series is this name Oh, the name of this book is Secret. This was a book that everyone was reading when I was in middle school. The author kind of breaks the fourth wall. So they're talking to you, but they're warning you, like, don't read, warning, do not read beyond this page. I didn't read it in middle school. I didn't pick it up until I was a little older, to be honest. I think it's a, a good series. I think it's great. I have the first four books. There's five books in the series. They're based on the five senses. I know you're probably wondering what happened to this book. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I was a very intense child. I used to live in a place where the door didn't latch well. And I was really tired. My mom was cleaning, as Mexican mothers do, very early on a Saturday morning. And I was really annoyed because I could hear all the noise she was making. And I just wanted to sleep in on my Saturday, but the door wouldn't latch. Well, I grabbed the first thing I could find, which sadly happened to be this book. I don't even remember what this book is called. Sadly, this was the first thing that was closest to me. And I ripped off the cover page and folded it to stick it in between the like actual latch and the doorknob. So that it would stay stuck closed. And then I ruined this book forever and I've kept it and I feel so bad. <laughs> I was just an intense child. I was tired. So this one obviously I'm not going to give away. I think sadly this is something that might have to go in the trash. I don't know. I feel bad because it, it's a very sad book. 
Next book is This Book Is Not Good For You based on taste. So we have smell, touch, taste, sight, and then I think the last one. What are the five senses? Oh no, the second book was hearing. I don't remember. Just know these books are based on the five senses. <laughs> I just can't keep them straight. This book is not good for you and this isn't what it looks like. They're really interesting but I spoiled myself for the fifth book so I know how the fifth book ends and I do not love it. It's a middle grade series and I'm just not big on middle grade anymore and especially because this is kind of like a comedic, fun, science, kind of sciencey, kind of not really series. It's I think this is definitely a series that someone in middle school or even junior high maybe would really enjoy, but it's just something that I'm not going to pick up anymore. <laughs> so I have decided to give them away. Next I have Pride by E.B. Zaboy, and this was a book that I got in an Owl Crate subscription box. So this is a, I believe this is like a special Owl Crate cover, oh, which is very cool. I hadn't even opened this book up if I'm 100% honest. This is... I think a retelling or a reimagining of the Pride and Prejudice classic, which uh, sadly I'm not the biggest fan of classics. I haven't read almost any either, which might be the problem, but I'm just not interested. It's just not my thing. So this one I would be willing to trade or sell if anyone is interested. Like I said, it's in basically new condition. I haven't even opened it and it is in Owl Crate cover exclusive. I believe this is pink and the original was like a teal blue lettering. Next I have Damsel by Ilana K. Arnold. I had a lot of issues with this book. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in a wrap up but I just thought the trauma that the main character was put through was really mostly for like shock factor. I don't know I just I didn't really enjoy it. Also this cover I just thought was really there was just a lot going on for me personally um, obviously so I didn't really like the cover. I don't think this is a book that I'm going to reach for ever because I had such a hard time getting through it just the first time. I don't think I could subject myself to that again a second time. Finally I have the I'm pretty sure I don't have these in order. I have the first four books in the James Patterson Confessions series. This is a YA mystery. I feel like there's a separate mystery in each book. There is like a, a, an overall family secret that is talked about throughout the four books, but each book individually has like its own thing it's dealing with. This is again a series that I bought when I was younger. They've been sitting on my shelf for quite some time. I think it was just earlier this year that I got the fourth and final book, Confessions, The Murder of an Angel, and I just thought, I think the first two maybe were really, really interesting, and then I kind of lost interest on the third book, which is why it took me so long to get the fourth book, and then when I read the fourth book, I was like, that's, didn't love it, didn't enjoy it. I thought it was just a little confusing, a little messy. All of the characters just weren't the characters we had started with. It was strange. Again, I just kind of lost interest in them and I don't think I'm going to reach for and reread them. I have so many great books on my shelves that I do reach for every so often to reread and this is one that I've had for so long and I've not once thought to reread them. So I think it's time to give them away to someone who will really enjoy them and will reread them. Those were all the books that I am unhauling. Not a lot of tea actually. They're just, I just lost interest. The majority of these books I've had for a long time and I've just never reached for to reread, which is why I am unhauling them. So there's nothing juicy, no, no tea spilling in this video, unfortunately. But I think as I acquire more books, I will every so often go through all of the books and unhaul anything that I'm not going to reread, which is hard for me because I am a hoarder. I will keep so many things, even though I'm not going to use them, including the series, which is why it's taken me so long to unhaul them, because I feel bad. They're books that at one point did make me happy, and I feel bad just giving them away, but it needs to be done. We need to clear out space to make room for the new and fresh items. 
So that's it to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any of these books that you are personally interested in, feel free to DM me or send me a tweet on Twitter and we can work something out. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to take them to my local bookstore. My name is Elle. I need to unhaul more books and I'll see you in next time's video.